How's it going everyone? Today we are going over the CAT S22 Flip right here and the Kyocera Dura XV Extreme Plus. Two great devices, around $250, depends on where you get them and if you get them unlocked and you know so on and so forth but amazing devices that allow you to run different applications if you need them and that provide an excellent basic experience as you see they are both rugged the cat s22 flip is definitely thicker the uh, kyocera dura xv extreme has a couple of advantages they both have usb-c under this flap so right there this that one and here this one has it under this one but one of the advantages that the Kyocera Durex V has is that it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is an omission from the CAT S22 Flip. So a little bit of an extra, you know, competence in there for this device. Now they both have a button that you can customize and they have their volume rockers. The CAT S22 has that on this side and the Kyocera on this side. The main difference between these two devices, they're both running different versions of Android, but the major, major difference is that this device is touch screen so right here as you see right there this is a touch screen device and you can activate different applications as you see right there i am interacting with it as with any other device it does have the play store it does have um you know some of the extra applications that you will need if you were to use uh, a specific needs for your work things of that nature it is running a version of android called android go so it is not running the explicit version of android that full version of android whereas the kyocera it is doing that but this one is has android go as you see right there google go gallery it does bring by factory all of the google applications but you can of course always uninstall them if you do not need them as you see right there, it does have also access to Do Not Disturb. It does have also access to Battery Saver, Airplane Mode. But it is essentially a smartphone, just in a flip phone form factor. It does have a decent camera, a little bit better than the one found in the Kyocera Dura XV Extreme. Uh, but essentially, I just wanted to show you a little bit of how they both ran. Uh, this is probably going to look a little bit better. This one right here is, if you go to the business tools and I go to Antenna Pod, it's going to have this cursor which allows me to select the different applications if i go here i will just be doing the touch screen version and navigation is definitely uh faster you know and you you will have the ability to do it just in a better manner as you see here uh, it is not scrolling all the way down so the experience may be a little bit more limited than on the cat s22 flip they're both excellent devices but it really depends on which network you're going to be using and also on what are your priorities if your priorities are essentially not having easy access then of course the Kyocera Dura XV Extreme Plus is going to be better if you want to have more easy access to the applications and installing pretty much everything available for Android then the CAT S22 is going to be your friend uh, there's of course Google the Google Assistant Google Go um, which you can, you know, inquire different things from the internet or whatever it is. Uh, you have the ability to have speech to text on this device, whereas on the Kyocera Dura XV Extreme, you will not have that ability. Now, again, they're both rugged devices, and that means that there are some, you know, protections that you can be afforded with that. And they both have a camera. This one has a flash. This one also has a flash. This one does not have a front-facing camera, whereas the CAT S22 flip, flip sorry, does have a front-facing camera. So if that's important to you for video calls or Zoom or something like that, then you know both devices can run those applications, but this one will have that front-facing camera, which is, for example, here I have Zoom, as you can see right there at the bottom. And of course, this essentially runs a lot of the applications very easily. Uh, even chess, for example, right there, you'll be able to play chess over the board with somebody, uh, which is entirely possible. It's just kind of like not a super fast experience, but it is doable, as you see right here. So if you want to be, ooh, oh, of course, black needs to go. Um, if you want to play chess with a friend, it is entirely doable right there. 
and of course you can also play online so again this is a more of a smart transition device a device that has all of the features from your other devices but you know still brings a lot of the value which is something that a lot of people look uh, forward into right there here i'm playing chess with myself just kind of like having a uh, the ability to to do different things but it's uh, both devices i would say they're excellent devices they're they're things that you can use um in this one that are better than of course on the kyocera but if the kyocera is something that you're interested into it's also an excellent device because this one works better on different networks so as i said this one is sold uh, by t-mobile and this one the kyocera is sold by verizon but once you unlock them you will have an easier time making this one work on different networks like at&t or t-mobile then you will have the t-mobile version of the cat s22 flip working on verizon it's not impossible but it's something to keep in mind they're both about the same price about 250 maybe a little bit more depending again where you get them if you get them used but that is the range of price uh, battery life is very comparable definitely you're going to have a better experience with the Kyocera Dura XV Extreme Plus because the Kyocera Dura X Extreme Plus does not use a touchscreen so again we have the touchscreen on this one which is an advantage for certain applications but it is a disadvantage for battery life so we're looking here around two days of battery life whereas on the Kyocera Dura X Extreme Plus you're going to have more than two days uh, leaning into three even four days depending on your usage so these are kind of like as you see there's whatsapp you can open it uh, you can use it and right there you have also whatsapp kind of like the ability to use them in both uh, but a different experience this one is a touchscreen version this one is you have to navigate with a little bit more you know kind of like of, of the browse the, the mouse right there um, and it is something that you have to kind of keep in mind this is more of a device for the basics and definitely using a cursor this one's definitely a device that is just smarter and you're going to have an easier time but because they are both flip phones they're going to definitely decrease your usage because you are going to be less inclined to watch videos even though you can watch videos on these you're definitely going to be less inclined to be watching them uh, on these devices i have full reviews on these devices so if you want to check them out make sure to check them out in the description below and if you have any questions or anything that you would like me to compare uh, make sure to put it in the comments below i always check them and you know i kind of look into them uh, of course the messaging experience is going to be extremely different for both of them as you see right here you have message and if you want to you know kind of like create a new message this is definitely all keypad oriented as you see right here it prompts me into using the keyboard for the for the screen but you can just swipe down and go right here into uh, the input method and you can use the Kika keyboard uh, if you want to use the G board which is definitely doable in here uh, that's mainly for kind of like speech to text but if you want to use the keyboard the full keyboard you swipe down you go all the way down to the input method and you change it right there with the Kika keyboard which allows you to you know kind of have like right there all of the different uh, all of the different things that uh, are allowed f from the keyboard so for example let me compose a message i'm gonna send it to my wife right there so it's like right there um hello it's t9 and you can of course get the symbols get the smileys get the different things you can tap if you feel more comfortable in that way you can also send pictures in different areas so the messaging experience is more robust on this device than it is on the kyocera but the kyocera is not too shabby you know you have the triple click and you can also change it to prediction or abc you also have smileys and symbols and emoticons uh, or emojis you also have different text options things of that nature this one's definitely smarter so if you want just a transition device something that allows you to use smartphone tools with the cat s22 flip that is an option and if you want a more restricted but still very good experience the kyocera is there for you yes we're going to discard that um so again if you have specific questions or things that i have not answered then you can of course check them out in the different reviews or you can just ask a comment sometimes i miss a couple things especially since there's diff different use cases but i try to be as thorough as i can hopefully you get an overview of what these devices can do and how it can help you in your digital minimalism journey thanks for watching and i'll see you in the comments